Man is omnipotent. Nothing is impossible for him. What seemed to be unthinkable undertakings yesterday are history today. The conquest of the moon, for example. Who talks about it anymore? Today, we are already on the threshold of conquering our galaxy. And in a not too distant tomorrow, we'll be considering the conquest of the universe. And yet man seems to ignore the fact that on this very planet, there are still people living in the Stone Age and practicing cannibalism. Primitive tribes isolated in a ruthless and hostile environment where the prevailing law is the survival of the fittest. And this jungle, which its inhabitants refer to as the Green Inferno, is only a few hours flying time from New York City. Was it to remind us of this that four brave young Americans went there to make a documentary on life in the jungle? Was it also to remind us, for instance, that before venturing into space, we should become more acquainted with the planet we live on? Four young and fearless Americans, children of the space age, armed with cameras, microphones, and curiosity. Alan Yates, the director famous for his documentaries on Vietnam and Africa. Faye Daniels, his girlfriend and script girl, and their two cameramen and inseparable friends, Jack Anders and Mark Tomaso. Four youngsters who never came back. But let's have a look at them at the beginning of their incredible adventure. Here at the border between Brazil and Peru, they are about to board a plane that will take them to the Rio Ocoro, a last outpost from which they will continue on foot deep into the Amazon jungle, into the area known as the Green Inferno. Hey. Are you really not scared? Not at all. I've been in plenty other dangerous places with them. And what about you, Alan? Well, there's only one thing that scares me. And that's marriage. <laughs> <laughs> He'd take me to the North Pole to put it off. Oh, I'd say he succeeded this time, too. And this is the last time. Yeah, provided we come back in one piece. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's go. Well. You four certainly aren't the first to embark on such an adventure. There was an expedition in, uh, in 59, and another in 67, and neither of them came back. Ah, uh, yeah, that was uh, Smith and that bunch of Frenchmen. Yes. Yeah, Frenchmen. They were amateurs, a bunch of jerks. They never succeeded in doing anything. For us, the difficult doesn't exist, and the impossible takes just a little more time. We'll be back. We have Felipe, our guide. Oh, Say hello to the camera. Those are the last pictures we have of them. Two months have passed since they were last heard from. Are they still alive? And if so, where are they? These are the questions that the rescue team sponsored by New York University and the Pan American Broadcasting System hope to be able to answer. Thank you for accepting, Professor Monroe. Good luck. Professor Harold Monroe, NYU's noted anthropologist, has taken part in various expeditions exploring primitive cultures, but this will be his first journey into Amazonia.
言うだろう Basta! Mira lo que carga esto. Un encendedor. Pobre Oliveira. Tenía apenas 20 años. Cuando el curaro te llega la sangre, no hay nada que hacer. Mejor un balazo que una flecha con la selvatana. Pero nosotros el suero se lo dimos a tiempo. Sí, el suero. Tarda mal y nunca funciona con el curaro. Siempre y cuando no nos llegue ya vencido. Los muchachos se lo cargarían sin ningún problema después de la muerte de Oliveira. Y tienen razón. Dentro de poco llegará el Yankee. Nuestras órdenes son aquellas de ayudarlo. Con suerte, un Yakumo prisionero es el mejor pasaporte para penetrar en el infierno verde. Well, Professor Monroe... Do you think you could turn that... Thanks. All I can say is that you anthropologists and the missionaries are made out of special stuff. If L holes like this didn't exist, I'm sure you would invent them. Whereas, I would give both my... Well, let's say I would give anything to be somewhere else. Look, Lieutenant. I'll be as little trouble as possible. It's just, I'm sure you've got enough problems of your own, but I'll have to be, to be honest with you. No, 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 thanks. I need your help in, in organizing this expedition. How can I refuse? You have been recommended by everybody in our government as well as yours. Only I sure can't guarantee that you'll still be breathing when you return. <laughs> Look, I know this is not going to be a picnic. Believe me, this is not my first trip into the bush. A skunk must have pissed that. Lieutenant, this lighter belonged to Faye Daniels. Come with me, Professor. I'll introduce you to your guy. He's the best there, if you can get along with him. Lleno de mierda. Dale una limpiada, ¿no? Hey, Chaco. This is Professor Monroe. 
Hello. It's nice to meet you. The lieutenant here was telling me what a what an excellent guide you are. You're going to take all this with you in the jungle? Yes. Well, forget it. We're going to need some weapons, some ammunition, plus some medicine. That's all we need. I already told your friends. In there, the more you carry, the quicker you get tired, the sooner you die. All right, all right. All I want to know, Mr. Chaco, is do we have a chance of finding them alive? Who's to say? The only thing I know is we're going to risk our lives to save those fuckers. Let's go see the Yakumo. Great warriors, these Yakumos. They are afraid of no one except for the tree people. Tree people? No white man has ever seen them, or the ones who have never lived to tell about it. Bizazi! Bizazi! Did you see this? Looks like the sacred scar of a Terry. That's what it is. He's the son of a shaman, and he's been consecrated to the spirit of the jaguar, which also explains what they were doing this far from home. What do you mean? Ah, they were caught, yet they are not really cannibals, which means it was probably some religious ceremony meant to chase evil spirits out of the jungle. White man spirits. <laughs> across. But there's no piranhas here. Come on. Come on, come on. There may not be any piranhas. There's always a few hungry caiman around. himself and there's three of us here. Why can't Don't we help? try it again, Professor. Here we do as I say, and this bastard has to know who is the strongest. Gotta get die. Oh, that's terrific. Chuck is right, senor. This guy is all hate. As soon as you don't look, he'll slit your throat. Same trail, right? Right. You're very lucky.
Hey, Professor, I recognize these teeth. This is Filippo Cagna. He knew the jungle as well as I do. That makes me feel terrific. I wonder what was his mistake. <clears throat> See that? We're near his village. You can already smell his own. Hey! Hey! Me down! <laughs> Hey, Mida, a Masrat. Today we eat meat, okay? That's Miguel. Hurry up, hey. I'm hungry. Huh? Some diet, that's for sure. Hey, Chaco, what the hell are you doing? It's for our Yakumo friend. With a little bit of this stuff in him, he will forget all about trying to run away tonight. Atalaka, kata. Yeah, this will make him very happy. Just wait and see. Drug addicts <laughs> in the jungle. <laughs> hey, give him some of this. A little masrak stomach. You love it. You like it, huh? Right, it's all yours. Go on, stuff yourself. <laughs> I swear, that looks like a ritualistic punishment for adultery. That's what it is. Just sit back and enjoy the show, because afterwards he's going to take us to the village. Considered a divine commandment. 
If he had not killed her, the tribe would have killed him. Here he comes. <laughs> Oh, let me try, Chaco. Please, let me try. Okay, is it possible that this way they won't know how many of us there are until we can talk with you, huh? He's learning fast, Miguel. Like lightning. Ah, terrific. Just terrific. They're coming. Where? I don't see a thing. Don't worry, they're there. I know they're there. I know they're there. But where? I don't see anything. Come on. Let's send out our ambassador. Andale, Miguel. Super kid. Buena suerte, Miguel. La suerte una mierda. Andale, muchacho. Good. You raise deductive reasoning to an art. Instinct. Something says your friends made quite a mess of things. Wait! If Miguel pulls this off, I swear I'll buy him a bottle of whiskey. It's a good sign, Professor. Oh, yeah, you could have fooled me. Uh, they just want to show us they are brave warriors. And they want us to follow them to the village. Follow them? Yeah, to return the prisoner and to talk. Hey, listen, I, I don't know about this. I think they want us for dinner tonight. Ah! 
friend shot him. Let's hope he doesn't die before we pull out. Get busy, Miguel. Get up! Get up! we are looking for was probably headed toward the center of the jungle or the center of the matter which no white man has ever seen before. This area is uh, under the domination of two cannibal tribes. They are so fierce they're feared by all of the tribes in the area including the tough courageous warriors of the Akumo tribe. These two superpowers of the Green Inferno are perpetually at war with each other. The Yamamomo, the tree people, and the, the Shamatari, the swamp people. Each considers the other fair game, hunted and then eaten. This will keep you high and dry. No, thanks. The Akumo blame Alan Yates' crew for the great calamity in Belgium. Exactly what happened remains a mystery. We only know that the four whites had to... Hey, shut that up! ...and then moved on. Christ, we're in the middle of a hunt. Three people or four? Oh, hunting each other. Let's get going.
Despite the fact that our intervention saved them from the Shamatari, the tree people, although they've welcomed us into their territory, continue to behave strangely towards us with a mixture of fear and distrust. Nevertheless, we've been permitted to observe the execution of one of their warriors, death by mutilation. The criminal, shh, watch the chief. <laughs> The criminal from the way he was destroyed he must have done something horrible to incur the wrath of his own people. It is not clear whether this was to pay a debt of honor toward us or only to demonstrate how they dispense justice. Careful, you're referring to us. <laughs> We weren't able to get anything out of the Yamamomo, except for the wristwatch they gave us as a token of their gratitude to an ally. An ally they continued to fear and mistrust. So I decided to try an experiment in psychology, to strip myself completely clothes, weapons, dog tags, rings, everything, to become like them, naked and unfettered as Adam. Again, I asked myself, what unspeakable crime could have called for such atrocious retribution? I know our lives are hanging by a thread, but I can't turn back without at least trying to recover the footage that Alan Yates and the others paid for with their lives. I am thinking of the enormous human and scientific interest it is going to contain. I must do something. Chaco and Miguel can't possibly understand this, yet I must somehow gain the confidence of these savages. After all, they too have rules of conduct. Hold it!
just invited us to dinner. Hey, what? some incredible act of God they hadn't tried to open. We we're hoping the climate didn't damage them too much. And so in exchange for the tape recorder, the cannibal chief let you take away the cans of film. Is that it? Yes. They thought that since I was capable of capturing the human voice, I was also capable of capturing their spirit. This convinced them that I was the only one capable of breaking the evil spell that had been cast over the tribe by their murder of the whites. Of course, they had no inkling of what was really in those cans. And how could you explain what a movie is? They just felt that they were a threat. Why do you say threat? Well, the Yamamomos understood how important these film cans were to Alan Yates and his crew. They thought the silver boxes contained their power, a power which I must say again caused much damage and violence. Fantastic story. Thank you, Professor Monroe. You're very welcome. As we conclude this special interview, we would like to remind you that Wednesday at 9 p.m. here on Pantheon, we'll be presenting part one of The Green Inferno, the dramatic film testimony of an extraordinary adventure that took its protagonists all the way back to the Stone Age. And you would be the ideal host for the program. That's right. Professor Monroe, as an eyewitness as well as a scientist, you would be the most... Yes, but before I make any decision on this, I'd like to review all the film material, as yet we've seen none of it. Professor Monroe, I can assure you that they knew exactly what they wanted. <laughs> that may be, but meanwhile, they're all dead, aren't they? Which is exactly why we have to let the public know the truth. We'll let the people be the judge. Better yet, we'll let the people who knew them best be the judge. Their parents, their wives. This is a, a documentary they shot for us about a year and a half ago. Can I start? Yes, please do. Pretty powerful stuff, huh? 
Well, just to give you an idea how Alan and the others worked, everything you just saw was a put-on. You mean this was... That was no enemy army approaching. Alan paid those soldiers to do a bit of acting for him. You'll have to excuse me now. I'll join you later. Yes, thank you. Shall I go ahead? Yeah, why not? This is Jack. Faye. Alan. And this is Mark. They'd worked together for years. They were terrible prima donnas, of course. But I have to admit, they were real pros. Mm -hmm. The stuff they shot could really gut punch you. Yeah, I can imagine. The ratings were fantastic, you know, higher than most of the big comics. And did they know how to play an audience? Alan, especially. Look at this bit they shot before leaving. Yeah, and we're coming back anyway. We got Felipe, our guide. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Hey. 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 Yeah, there we go. Yeah. OK. Ha uh -huh. This shot's dark because the diaphragm setting on the camera was wrong. There, now he's got it right. Forget it. There's no electricity where we're going. Nope. This is anything but a well-organized safari with all the comforts. Weapons, camera, medicinal supplies. That's about it, since we'll be covering hundreds of miles on foot. And that's another thing. Who knows when we'll have another shower? Of course, I don't think Faye will have any problem remaining the sexiest script girl in history. Are you really shooting? Church. Okay, okay, that's enough. Has anyone seen my pants anywhere? What do you want those for? To put them on my head, stupid. I thought ever since Jack took them off two years ago, you didn't need them anymore. Right, Mark? Right. Nice. Knock it off. Are you shooting again? <laughs> Idiot. <laughs> Crew of clowns. Yeah. They had a great sense of the theatrical. Like I said, the real professionals. Uh, what was I saying, Professor? Uh, yeah. I tried working with Alan a couple of times, and I just couldn't handle it. You know, he... He pushed his people to the limit, demanding everything, including blood. And talk about paranoia. God have mercy on his soul. He was one ruthless son of a bitch. So I feel we have a duty to tell the public their story, Mr. Holmes. Alan, I don't know. You know, I really appreciate your coming. You're the first person to come and talk to me about Alan after what happened. But what I'd like to know, Professor, is what did happen to my son? Can you tell me? No, that wasn't her real name. She always wanted to be an actress. Her real name was Tina. Excuse me a minute. Children, look, I'm just going to be speaking with this man one more minute, and then we'll play, OK? As you can tell, we're very different in our characters. But Tina was very energetic, very hardworking, very ambitious, extremely ambitious. I used to say to her, do you think that you'll ever be at peace with yourself? Anyway, now she is. God rest her soul. Elizabeth! Elizabeth! Excuse me, Mrs. Anders. Just two minutes. How did you feel about Jack? What's the use? What am I supposed to say about Jack? After two years of marriage, I was with him for just four months. <laughs> I'll see you, huh? Bye-bye. He was always on assignment. India, Asia, Africa. Yeah, sure, he was good in bed, but he liked to eat, too. No brains, though. He's too easily influenced. 
Alan was his god, you know. You know what I mean? Hey, you guys think I could get any bread out of this? Uh, Mr. Tommaso, Mr. Tommaso, please. Mr. Tommaso, please. Uh, I just want to ask you one question about your yeah. son. Yeah, uh, what do you want to uh, ask? Uh, look, your son was a man of special uh, importance to the news world. Can you tell me something about him? My son? My son is no good. He doesn't work, doesn't go to school, wants to lay around the house all day, and he's no good, period. Now, that's it. I got to go back to my job. Don't bother me no more. Uh, but Mr. Tommaso, please, your son was well known to a lot of people. Just one question. Just uh, okay, one, one question. Uh, about your son, I, I just want to know, what kind of man was he? My son? My son was a son of a bitch, and he was no good. That's it. My son is dead. I don't want to talk about him no more. Now, leave me alone. Goodbye. Tommaso, millions of Americans. Mr. Tommaso, please. Why didn't they print the whole thing? The negative needed special treatment because of the humidity. The quality isn't the best, but it's pretty good considering the lousy conditions they were shooting in. Unfortunately, two reels were light fogged and we had to throw them out. I put a piece of black leader between one sequence and another. Good. That's where we'll put the interviews with the families and the one in which you talk about your search for them. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, Bill. Okay. This first segment is silent. Evidently, they didn't always use their mics, though they were attached right to the camera, just above the lens, like a gun barrel. See? Remember, this is a very rough cut, almost like watching rushes. A lot of the stuff will be thrown out during the actual editing. Here we are. Should be some sound coming in now. No, no, not yet. Here. We need that. We've been walking for six days in this marvelous inferno. Today is uh, Saturday the 25th. If I were in New York right now, I'd probably be out shopping.
How much of the material is without sound? Less than half. Uh. Every so often, I've laid in some stock music to juice things up a little. What is it? The Yacomos passed this way. We are not far from the village. Ah. Ah! 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 Look here. I've been walking through the jungle for days with the harrowing feeling that we're moving in circles. At night, we have to sleep in the trees so we don't get bit by the snakes or spiders. Felipe, our guide, claims we're near the big river where the Yakimos live in the village. Look at my big fucking jungle. Alan, do you want some tea? a great buddy and a top-notch guide. We'll miss him. But even more, we'll miss the security he gave us. We've decided to go on, but now we've only got the compass and our instincts to show the way. Panning to you, Alan. Okay, give us an earth-shattering statement. You know this is gonna make us famous. Yeah, you think so, huh? How yeah. famous? Real famous and real rich. Yeah? What are you gonna do with your money? I'm gonna buy a house and a piece of ass. <laughs> think that's funny, huh? Yeah, that's the only way you can get it. Where's Faith? I don't know. Turn the camera off, will you? Grace, what's taking you so long? Well, I had to wait in line with the rest of the animals. <laughs> You're disgusting. Hey, <laughs> get out of here. I told you to get out of here with hey, the camera. I just want a little pee. Will you get out of hey, here? Get out of here know. with that thing. Get out of here. Come on, I told you to turn the goddamn thing off. <laughs> I'll get you. Woo! <laughs> Come on. 
Jess. Just shoot in the air and we'll follow them. And when they scatter, how are we gonna get there? Give me the gun! No, wait! I know what I'm doing! Why? Don't you get it? We can never keep up with them in the joke. This way, that buck will go slow enough to take us right to the village. Well, what do you think, Professor? But it's not the best way of establishing peace with the Akumo tribe. Now I'm beginning to understand why they greeted us with such hostility. You think this is bad? This is nothing. Alan did much worse. Just watch. They could play it rough when they felt they had to. Remember how they set up some of those executions? human history. Things like this happen all the time in the jungle. It's survival of the fittest. In, in the jungle, it's the daily violence of the strong overcoming the weak. Jack! A setup, all a setup. Just like Cambodia. Get this fucker!
Ah! Oh. I'm drained. You must admit it's exceptional footage. I, I didn't expect such impact, such authenticity. I don't know. I don't think exceptional is the right word. You don't? No. I mean, what's exceptional about a primitive tribe like the Yakumo being terrorized and forced into doing something they don't, they don't normally do? Come on now. Yes, sir. Let's be realistic. Who knows anything about the Yakumo civilization? Today, people want sensationalism. The more you rape their senses, the happier they are. Ah, yes, that's typical Western thought. Civilized, isn't it? That's what Alan thought, and that's why he's dead. The Yakumo Indian is a primitive, and he has to be respected as such. You know, did you ever think of the Yakumo point of view, that we might be the ones who were savages? <laughs> well, I never thought of it that way, but it's an interesting idea. Yes. Let's say things were reversed, right? And the Yakumo attacked your house, defiled everything that you held holy. You know that pig that was killed? That was food for those people. Now, what had happened if somebody came into your house when you were hungry and, and took the little bit of food you had in the refrigerator and threw it down the toilet? Would you behave in a civilized way? Would you like people to make money off your misery? We have succeeded in establishing, shall we say, diplomatic relations with the Yakumas, but what are we for them? These are people who have never seen a white man before or heard the sound of a gun. We know they are really afraid of our powers, but for how long? And can we really be sure that they don't hate us like most people hate what they don't? <gasps> 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 When the old members of the tribe feel death approach, they wander off to a secluded spot. After she dies, this old woman... This old woman will probably end up as lunch for some alligator. In the jungle, nothing goes to waste. Nature recycles everything. You're about to witness an ancient ritual never before seen by civilized man. 
The tribe is a primitive social unit bound together by the basic needs of survival. To protect itself, the tribe must eliminate any diseased elements. Now, don't go away. What you're about to see may simply be described as social surgery. discussion last night about whether to keep going or turn back. It wasn't easy to come to an agreement. Perhaps the others are right. Maybe we shouldn't push our luck. God knows we've been lucky so far. But do you know what finally convinced them? The chance to become famous. To reach that spot where time stopped three or four thousand years ago. Where the Yanomamos, the tree people, live Oh, in constant strife with their, their enemies, the Shamataris. See this guy? This was a, a Yanomama warrior killed by the Yakumos. Just to give you an idea, the, to the Yakumos, this is a savage. I'm not speaking as a scientist, but as the man in the street. This so-called documentary footage is offensive, it is dishonest, and above all, it is inhuman. Yes, yes, of course. We all know what Alan was like. He overdid it as usual, but what you saw is a rough cut. Perhaps I haven't made myself clear, but I, I refuse to have anything to do with this material. Look, Professor. We are talking about the most sensational documentary to come along in years. But, and you want us just to shelve it, to forget about it, as if it had never been found? Is that what you want? Yes. Yes. That is precisely what I want. I've seen the rest of the material. You haven't. You haven't seen the stuff that even your editors didn't have the stomach to put together. And if you had, you wouldn't hesitate but to agree with me. Somewhere in the middle of this green inferno where no civilized man has ever been before. Look at that. Huh. The uh, jungle here is different. It's almost hospitable. But so far, we've seen no sign yet of the tree people, the Yanomamos. Good. Like. We're beginning to wonder if they really exist or if they're just a legend. found the Yanomamos, the tree people. But we're going to have to be very careful, because these people are known for their cruelty. Come on! All right! 
right, all right. Oh, we got just a little monkey. Oh, you go first. <laughs> okay. Oh, jump on it. Yeah, all right. Woo! <laughs> 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 roll it, dog. Oh, go ahead. All right. Jack, what do you want to use it for? A porno film, stupid mess. That's not a bad idea. How about jungle jollies? Hey, you want me to keep shooting? You want me to keep shooting or what? That's a stupid question. Hurry up, Casanova. It's Jack's turn. Come over. Jack's next. Okay, Jack, go ahead. Come on. Come on. That's one. Oh, look at the little kid. We have only three cans of film left. We can't use this. Why do you want to waste it like that? Shut up. Hey, aren't you going to get some, Alan? The only thing he can't stop on is his camera. Okay, Mark. Come on right. in here. Stop shooting, Mark. Oh. Ah. 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 Stop that, Alan. Oh, oh. Ah. <laughs> All right. Ah. You bastard. Get her, Jack. Get her right the fuck off. Get out. changing reels. All right. Move in tight. Tight. Oh, come in for a close-up and then you grab it. Watch it, Alan. I'm shooting. Oh, good Lord. It's... It's unbelievable. It's... It's horrible. I can't understand the reason for such cruelty. It must have something to do with some obscure sexual writer. With the almost profound respect these primitives have for virginity. Rolling, Mark? Yeah. Look up there on the right! Wait, they're all around us! We're gonna get an Oscar for this! Filming 
Mark. I'll cover you. You got it. Right down to the last foot. ourselves this time trying to try to stay there for the last shot i don't even know where we are now but i know they i know they uh, they followed us and and we lost everything trying to escape we're screwed we're trapped i'm gonna try to scare them away with this i hope it works stay away hey. don't get far away stay over hey. here hey. you motherfuckers
John, I want this material burned. All of it. Yeah. I wonder who the real cannibals are. 